Welcome everybody. This is Vanessa from 2020 and I'm here to talk about this rendering that you see on the screen. This was submitted um, as part of one of our Inspiration Award contests earlier this year and there's some really great things about it. So I'd like to just talk about some of the things that they've added and show you how you can achieve some of these same type of renderings. So the two points that I really love about this rendering, one is the lighting is great. It's very clear and easy to see. So we'll talk about rendering and lighting inside visual impression. And then the other one, it's not as obvious when you first look at a rendering like this, but there is a new setting called the two-point perspective in visual impression, which makes this look very clean and precise. So I have a couple example drawings that I'd like to share. Let's take a look at these. So here in AutoCAD, I've got this drawing, and there's a couple rooms. And just so you have an idea, I've got one office that I'll show you the rendering or the rendered version of it in just a moment. Um, and I really didn't do much to it. There's not much extra lighting added. It's just kind of as is when you first open up Visual Impression. But then the second rendering I show is going to have a few more details added to them, and we'll talk a little bit about kind of that final presentation view. And I just want these to be really clear and concise and help that end user understand that space. So let's open them up in Visual Impression. Give this just a moment. Like I said, there's two, so I'll be able to pick between each of these scenes that I've already created. And the first thing I want to kind of look at is just the overall lighting of the space. Again, this first one is pretty much kind of out of the box what you get when you open up Visual Impression. We've got kind of just the simple gray walls. I did add a, a finish to the, the ceiling to emulate um, kind of ceiling tile. And then I just have the standard flooring finish. So um, when I go to look at this in uh, any higher quality, notice whenever you're working, you're always in SQ. But when I change this to HQ or high quality, sometimes this gets a little dark. And there's a few reasons for that. Um, right now, again, I did not add any additional lighting in here. So if I move around, even because I have a window, it doesn't really make a whole lot of difference in this particular project. And I don't have any accessory lighting over here, and I haven't adjusted any lighting on the ceiling. Now you might say, well, there is no lighting on the ceiling because you just have ceiling tiles shown. But there's actually in the background kind of some overall lighting that we typically have turned off. So I'm just going to jump up to the settings, and you'll see that there's a, just a checkbox that you can show system place lights. And by turning that on, you'll see what looks like um, can lights or inset lights in the ceiling. Even though we never really place them there, they are always part of the project. So if I were to just take a quick look at this in a top view, you can kind of see this room has four of those lights. What happens is, depending on the size of your space, those lights will automatically calculate to try to evenly light the space. So in general, you shouldn't have to worry too much about placing a lot of your own lights manually. You really only need to place things for accent. So now that I know that those lights are there, here's what they do. Now, sometimes I don't like to leave them on. It just depends on the design. But that not, might not be exactly what um, is going to be planned for the lighting in that space. But notice now when I go back to HQ or high quality, I'm also going to take a minute and jump over to the lighting button. That little light bulb next to HQ, at the bottom, it tells you you've got a HQ light intensity um, slider. So I can actually dial this up. We always start, start you quite low, and then I can dial that up and adjust that as needed to really add a bit more lighting. So just that made a pretty big impact. The other thing I'll think about too is sometimes when I'm in a project like this, and I've got a really nice defined area, there could be some accent lighting, let's say over here at the desk. So if I do decide to add some accent lighting, I'm going to jump over the lights. The lights inside Visual Impression will emit light. So there's some floor lamps, some desk lamps. Sometimes I'll come in, let's say that there's going to be a task light or two underneath this piece. So I'm just going to actually add a wall light and you'll notice that there's an under counter. Now it's kind of funny when you place these, they actually place kind of in the middle front of the floor. So you have to look at for them sometimes. In this case, it's not too hard to find because it's just kind of in the middle here. But I'm going to take that item and I'm going to just move it over and I'm going to rotate it a little bit and just kind of get it close to where I think it should be placed. And when I go back to 3D, now I can adjust how high or how low that is off the floor. So right now, I just need to bring this down a bit. 
Now, when you have an item like this, you'll notice sometimes I'm going to be zooming in really close to adjust these and get it just right. You'll notice it'll go right through the piece of furniture unless I turn on my collision detection. So we'll stop it there. And then I can even take that piece. Since this is not really something I'm selling, nobody else needs to see this. There's a checkbox in the bottom to make it not visible. And you can turn it way up or you can turn it way down, depending on how intense you want that to be. So then here's what this looks like. Let's render this in a high quality again. You're going to get a little bit more of an idea of what that could look like. I see definitely a little bit of a hot spot on that wall. And if I were to render this in a high quality plus, that would soften that a little bit further. But just for a little bit more realism, sometimes you want to add some of your own lighting in this case. Now, let me jump over to the other project. And remember the neighboring office. I said I already did a couple other things to that space. So it's going to be pretty similar kind of a similar layout. It's just a little bit of a different size and shape of room. But in addition to adding some extra lighting, don't mind my artwork right there. There we go. Adding the lighting under here. I did another um, task light. And I dialed up on my overall lighting. But my window, I changed it a little bit. And when I look at this window, notice in the bottom right hand corner, it tells me it's an illuminating window. So when you add windows to your projects now, you're going to notice that the first five are standard. Standard windows are going to look like a window. You can even edit what color they are and what image you see out them. But then the illuminating windows, the last five, are a little bit different. You can change the color of the frame or how it looks. But in addition to that, now when I go to render this in a high quality, I will have some exterior lighting settings. So let me render that in HQ. And then when I click on my light bulb, I'm going to come up here and I can see exterior light settings. And I can change this from sunny to cloudy. I can pick the direction that the sun is coming in from. So when I set this correctly, it will actually let light into that space. And I found that sometimes that more of a, that natural light just makes the space look a little bit more realistic. It definitely adds a lot more um, drama to that space. So you can do quite a few things with this. Again, when you render it in that higher quality, it just really shines. And then the last detail about a project like this, you know, this is just a simple office, but sometimes when you're in a project or sometimes when I see some of these renderings, we get kind of an awkward view, whether I'm kind of low here or if I've got kind of this bird's eye view, sometimes you want to show that to see like a lot of space and, and whatever we've planned, but it's not very natural. And the reason for that is the perspective view that we're looking at it in. So notice that if I want this to be perfect, I'm going to come up in my settings and there's just a checkbox where I can use the two point perspective camera. What that does is it adjusts my screen so every single vertical line is perfectly straight up and down. So now when I try to kind of move around my project, I can still orbit around and see everything. But you notice it doesn't let me tilt that in the case that it would get kind of skewed or out of that line sight of having that perfect, perfect vertical line. So whenever you get ready to do your final, final rendered view of that presentation, that's one thing to think of. So here I will show this is my final view in the highest quality setting with all of that lighting and the two-point perspective on. I hope those tips help.